Hi guys, I'm Lilo. This is Lilo's family, and this is Lilo's tarot. And I wasn't gonna finish this, but you know what I'm saying. Had to kind of change my attitude a little bit. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I mean you being here. All right, let's try this again and hope Mercury retrograde does not get the best of us. Okay. Ooh, purple hearts. I like that. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going to start with Scorpio. I don't want to hear nothing about it. I'm starting with Scorpio. All right. I'm here in I know I did not just spend these motherfuckers here. That's my mama getting ready for work. I know I did not just, I know I didn't just spell that right. I don't even know if I said it, but that's the song I'm hearing. Okay, we are starting with Scorpio, the chariot reverse, the ace of wands, and the lovers. Okay, okay, okay. Your fa if your favorite color is green, your partner's favorite color is yellow. This person may be slightly taller than you, and y'all look good as fuck next to each other. Someone wants to have sex with you, and they like... Uh, I just keep hearing they like the way you look under them. Like, they like... Somebody likes uh, somebody likes looking down at you. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's just because they're kind of tall. They're not really that tall, so they can pipe the fuck down, Scorpio. But, yeah, I don't know. It's like... It's giving once upon a time, Snow White and Prince Charming. What's that thing they always used to say to each other? Um, let me see. I got to find it. It's something that they say, Snow White and Prince Charming. And once upon a time, that's the vibe y'all are giving. Somebody's going to move forward towards you regardless, no matter what. They want a new opportunity with you. I don't know if they... And a new person may be amongst you as well. Once upon a time. Come on now, y'all know the quote. What's the quote? They know the quote. They got all this other stuff. Whatever. They know the quote. Something about... The quote has something to do with always coming, like, no matter what, they can never be broken apart. Like, no matter what anyone does to tear them apart, because no one wants them to be together, they're going to always come back together. And so that is what's going on between you, Scorpio, and your partner. It's sad, because I looked it up. They try and, like, the quote shouldn't be first thing on there. Like, they don't know the quote. They know the quote. Y'all, everybody... <sighs> Things may be falling around you as well. Is it... Is, uh... Can I say it's both? I don't know how to spell, say that I word. I'm going to get one of these cards for you now, Scorpio. Let's see. What have I even been saying for four minutes? Time might go by fast one day, and you're not going to even know where the day went, maybe. Because what the fuck has I even meant? And then judgment. Um, You have made someone go through their kundalini awakening, and someone has been purging toxicity within their life because they have no choice. They had to suck the, they had to purge the venom out of them. Like somebody was dying. Like somebody had no choice but to change, and it started with you. You started some sort of kundalini awakening within them, and that's why you guys have this soul contract where you'll never be torn apart. And then Sagittarius, can somebody find the quote for me? Thank you. The quote is stuck in, it's stuck in my head. I really need to remember what it was. The Emperor. The Sun card. The Eight of Wands, Reverse, and Strength. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Sagittarius, what your masculine energy needs to understand is there's a difference between confidence and conceited. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is just a controlling person. When you didn't love when you didn't love yourself, this person had a problem with it. And now that you do, this person has a problem with it. You cannot win against your love interest. They're just so controlling. And you're not gonna let them stop your progress because of that. Someone wants you to stop being strong. They want you to stop progressing. They don't want you to go on a trip. If you have a trip to go on soon, they don't want you to take it. Or they just want you, I don't know, someone's trying to withhold communication and they feel like that's what's going to get you to speak up. But I think the Sagittarius is giving it to God. <laughs> the Sagittarius is giving it to God and you have been planning for your future. You may be planning a trip or just planning anything that you know is going to go in your favor right now. You're very excited about your future. And if there's anything that you need a confirmation on, yes, go for it. Okay. You know that a relationship was toxic and if someone wasn't going to change, then you can't change them, Sagittarius. And we don't try to change people that insist on being one way when we all know that they should be another. So that's not what we're going to do. What we don't do, I'm glad, but the strength card again. Ooh, that feminine energy is strong. And the world card reverse. If you have an internet presence, someone that's not in here. Huh? Capricorn, yes, somebody just knocked on the door. Capricorn, no, that wasn't that. That was them upstairs. Yeah. Maybe I should cook salmon. I'm tired of eating. Ooh, I'm not tired of eating seafood. I want some. Um, ooh, we need to go to that that place. They got that good fish. I want some, um, I can't even remember the name of the fish. God damn. It's not catfish. It's not tilapia. Somebody is knocking on the door. Stop playing. Somebody's knocking on the door. See, my necklace look like I got saggy teeth. They're not saggy, they're tiny. Ooh, Capricorn. No worries. Someone's coming. You are I think you weren't worried anyway. Someone tried to pretend like I feel like someone's trying to leave you, but you know that they're connected to you and they can't go anywhere anyway. Um, and also if a sibling has been acting standoffish towards you, don't worry. They are fine. They are just trying to get their stuff together or they really need answers that they feel like they can only find within themselves. Okay. Or your sibling may be very worried that you don't fuck with them no more, but it's not about that. It's just, they feel like they need time alone. I feel like you're a friend or your family member does not respect the time that you need alone. And so once you get ugly with them, they're going to feel hurt by it. But at the same time, the King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, somebody will find whatever it is that they've been looking for within themselves or that they went on a journey to find. They will find the answers and they feel like their answers and fortune lies within one place. And now they are just waiting to take action and tell someone how they really feel. Someone feels like you are the answer. Sun card. Empress. What's that? I don't even know. And the Emperor. Divine motherfucking counterparts. All right, there you go. And they don't even know how to tell you this. That's the only problem right now. They don't know how to tell you that when wherever they went, what they found was you and that they want to be with you. Damn, this person is a hopeless romantic. They are beautiful. I think they can't find a way to tell it to you because they want to tell it to you in a beautiful way. All right, so yeah. <laughs> oh, Aquarius. We found love in a hopeless place. We found love in a Y'all might have got your name, each other's names tatted. Some of you may just be going along with the toxic relationship just because, like, you're hopeless. There's nothing else around, so why not? And you guys are actually, maybe you guys, maybe this is what happened in the past. You went along with a relationship with someone because you were in an ugly, hopeless place. You guys bonded off of drugs um and mental disability both of y'all are mentally disabled not in a way where it's like not in a duh way uh i've been hearing the word sociopath all day one of you is a sociopath and one of you is a narcissist Ooh, that's ugly <laughs> oh my gosh that's crazy 
So can either one of you talk shit? Because somebody just says whatever comes out of their mouth. If the other one isn't a narcissist, they have some sort of bipolar disorder or impulsive, like some compulsive disorder. And it's like y'all, y'all literally fell in love because y'all are both mentally disabled. I'm telling you that right now. And don't get mad at me. It is what it is. If you're not mentally challenged, it's more about you have a hope. Your life is, your life was something tragic bonded you and this person and um this person has a lot to say to you <laughs> they want to maybe that's what you're telling them like look this is not real love we are just we're leeching off of maybe you're trying to tell someone that while they're trying to tell you that they love you okay so maybe that's what you think it is and that's not what they think it is it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. These bitches bad, though. Someone wants to know that it's not their fault that all these other bitches want to be with them. If it's all about you and them, then you need to focus on what they're focused on, which is you. Um, yeah, this person definitely is someone that he knows how to keep relationships and know how to keep you calm. And it doesn't matter because this is someone that knows how to keep multiple women and he'll have them all in the same house they'll be best friends they don't like none of not one of them like the situation that they're in but they will play along just because of what this man told them or what this man has them doing like yeah somebody's that skilled at being a pimp all right and if you're not dealing with anyone the reason you're not dealing with someone is because that's the way they're going to approach you and you love yourself you have more love i'm going to say that my aquarius is practicing self-love and that's not what you're going for okay the emperor but this controlling ass person is going to want you to go for it regardless and try to blame it on the other women around them but it's not about the other women around them it's about what they are doing and what they are allowing and what they allowing is something that you cannot deal with all right so always, you know, when you dating somebody and every time you turn around, it's another bitch in their face. Yeah, I ain't got time for that because it's not, it's not just these bitches. It's you too. All right. <laughs> like if you look mean enough, this wouldn't be happening to you. Um, Pisces, I love things about her. I love the way she fuck me. <laughs> I love the way she suck me, but don't love her. Okay. You may feel like that's how someone feels about you, but then again, I'm hearing, yeah, my name is Susie, and Gucci think I love him. That I think I'm a girl, but I flex with all the hustles. I be with all the ballers. I be in all the spots. I might be in your kitchen, nigga, cooking with your pots, okay? So maybe you think somebody don't love you. Maybe y'all think the same of each other. Both of y'all, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. Are both of y'all Gucci fans or something? Both of y'all are either Gucci fans, both of y'all from Atlanta, or both of y'all from the same city. Something like that. I don't know, or there's going to be a Gucci conversation. Maybe if you feel like someone doesn't love you, they feel like you got it. You trying to play them. You know what I'm saying? Who else you cooking for? If you offer to cook for somebody, it pissed them off because it's like, who you cooking for niggas? You know what I'm saying? This is the type of person that'll see you on Instagram with a game controller in the background and swear to God, it's another nigga with his motherfucking PlayStation at your house, Pisces. In reality, it's your brothers. <laughs> okay? Like, you just chilling with your brother. Okay? Somebody like your picture on Instagram, they swear y'all sleeping together. That's your cousin. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. And can you say insecure <laughs> your partner may be insecure the emperor controlling why y'all have all these controlling ass partners people um are starting to go crazy because they're not getting what they want they're losing control and they can't handle it especially if the person that you want control over is looking way too good and way more good than you want them to good be you know it's summer and everybody flaunting themselves online everybody outside if you outside they trying to be out there with you somebody don't want to keep you in the house they want to be outside with you they want to have some fun they want to do some things <laughs> Where are we going? Let's go. Okay, Pisces. So if you want to be outside, I think your partner want to be for the ride. That's what that's about. You know, you got a partner that's all like both of y'all may be about fun. So maybe someone balances you, okay? Oh, maybe both of y'all balance each other because y'all ain't shit. Both of y'all think the other person ain't shit. It makes sense, you know? And the Ace of Swords. Maybe a conversation will change things. 
Or maybe, you know, somebody needs to express to you how much they love you. Maybe both of y'all need to express love because the love is there. You see what I'm saying? So, it could be with an uh, Aries, Aquarius, or a Libra. All right? And you can meet a new air sign as well. But I feel like by the time you meet someone new, you'll be already connected to this person. You'll already have confirmation that you and this person are supposed to be together. I did not do these little cards. I done skipped a couple signs for these little cards. But y'all okay. We'll do it later. We'll get it. Y'all know I'm stressed out today. The lover, someone chooses you, Pisces. Double confirmation and the tower. All right? I'm going to say that's good sex. And this person may be breaking up with someone else to come to you as well. To come to you. To come in you. And I'm going to do a short collective reading and go and be out. Y'all, I'm only wearing this. Y'all know stuff just be so happening to happen to me. Because I didn't know I was going to have purple hair until like yesterday. And I ordered this stuff like a few days ago. But I thought it was going to come way, way past when it came. And it came quicker. And so I'm like, oh wow, I forgot I bought this lavender outfit. And I got this lavender hair. And I was like, hey, that go together, I guess. <laughs> or it'll look good on me, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. I'm like, things just keep lining up. Because that's what happened on my birthday with my belly dancer outfits. They were supposed to come way later in the month. And they came sooner than that. And then we have the full card. Whoop. The six of swords reversed and the three of... I feel like you're moving on from a heartbreak, but you're moving on in a happy manner. Not a sad manner. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. You're more happy about it than sad. It's not going to hurt you. Um, you may be healing from a heartbreak over the next two days. Uh, someone could be going on a trip with friends. Um, it could be a healing trip, but someone could get in their feelings or in their emotions. Don't feel stupid for what you want to do or where you want to go or who you want to be with. Okay, because um, trying to withhold your emotions from the person you love, you're just going to have some sort of mental or emotional breakdown. Somebody may expose how they feel on the internet as well, even if they take it down afterwards, and then they're going to feel trapped by the words that they said, the magician, and then they're going to continue to try to manifest you once again. So if somebody's acting very bipolar or weird or extra friendly, um, they don't know how. It could be an Aries. It could be a Gemini. They could be trying to manipulate you or they're so deep into their feelings that they don't know how to get what they want out of you. And I don't know what that's about. Somebody's friend has to go. Like, your friend cannot be around anymore. Someone does not like your friend. Um, or your friend does not like your love interest. It's either one or the other. There could be a heartbreaking situation where your friend and your love interest don't like each other. So they're both trying their hardest to push the other out of your life. And it's all about what you want to do, what you want to manifest, and how you want to deal with the situation. You don't want to move forward with someone that is not going to be a forgiving soul as well. The feminine energy is too defensive for the masculine, and he demands transformation. Um, also, be careful who you give your time and energy to. Are you going to... Is it going to... Someone has to choose between a friend and a love interest. Which one deserves? See? Someone feels like they have to, someone rather miss the, like, someone has a missed opportunity between family and love. Someone feels like, be loyal to your love interest because that's the person that's going to nurture and care for you. These people are going to turn their back as soon as they get happiness. So if you're trying to make a hard decision between anybody and what you feel emotionally, at the end of the day, go with what you feel. Whoever you know is going to do you right, do right by you and do what's best for you. Who's there for you at the end of the day and who turns their back on you? Okay, that's going to be something you're going through within the next two days. All right. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. I just posted four incomplete ass videos on my page within one day, and it is stressing me out. But it's okay. What? <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being patient with me.